right, so here we go. Chapter five, lesson one. It's called algebraic express expressions. Algebraic expressions. All right, let's talk about the parts of an expression, first of all. All right, so when we're talking about an algebraic expression, it would look like this. 2x plus 5 minus 3x. That is called an algebraic expression. And there are different parts of our expression that I want to make sure that you understand. So the first part is I want you to understand what the terms are. The terms are everything that's separated by a plus or a minus sign. They're separated by a plus or a minus sign. So in our example, the terms would be 2x, 5, and 3x. All of these are our terms. Okay, so we have terms. We're also going to have variables in our algebraic expression. Now, algebra, uh, in our algebraic expression, the variables are your unknown. It's the letter usually, it could also be a symbol, that represents our unknown. Right? When we're evaluating our expressions, we're going to tell you what the unknown is, and you plug it in or substitute the values. So in our example, the variables would be x, and that's it. So x is our variable. Now, the number that is in front of our variable is also very important. It's called the coefficient. The coefficient, think of it as the multiplier of the variable. Think of it as the multiplier. How many of them do you have? So in our example where we have 2x and we have negative 3x, the coefficient is the number that's in front of the variable. So 2 would be our coefficient and negative 3 would be our coefficients. If you had just a variable all by itself, like let's say y, then the coefficient, there's an invisible 1. We don't write 1y. The 1 is invisible. So when you just have y all by itself, the coefficient is 1. Because you have one of them. Right? So um, that's a, a lot of the terms that I wanted to explain. And there's one other. It's called the constant. And the constant is the number that's in the problem. It's your numbers as you normally know it. It's the number or numbers. So in our example, 5 is the constant. So this is called the constant, the 5. These are called variables, right? Variable, variable. And then also in our problem, we have coefficients. Our coefficients would be the 2 and the negative 3. If it has a negative in front of it, think of a uh, subtract sign in front of it. I want you to think of it as a negative. You have to bring it with it. So th negative 3 is our coefficient. All right, so that's the parts of our variable expression. So let's talk about how to evaluate expressions. Evaluate for you guys should mean to solve it. So when you're evaluating expressions, there are a couple things I want you to do. First of all, you're going to substitute the values that they give you. Substitute the values given for the variable. Or variables, right, if you have more than one. And then what you I need you to make sure that you do is follow your PEMDAS rules. Right, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses first, exponents second. So like um, four to the second power. Remember, that means repeated multiplication, right? Then it's multiply, divide, or divide, multiply. Whichever comes first, left to right. Right. 
And then the last step is add, subtract, or subtract, add. And again, left to right, whichever comes first as you're reading a book, left to right. So if subtract comes first, you do subtract first. Okay, left to right. So you have to remember those rules. All right, so let's do some examples. All right, so if I said to you example one, I want you to evaluate two n plus three when n equals negative four. So what you do is you substitute for the n negative four. You plug it in, right? So this is gonna be two, and then where you see the n, you're gonna put negative four. And then plus three. So follow your rules for adding integers. So you have four negatives, three positives. So subtract these two numbers, you end up with negative one. Two times negative one is negative two. So the answer is negative two. All right, example two. All right, example two, I want us to solve 8w take away 2v when w equals 5 and v equals 3. So again, you're going to plug the values in, right? So for w, you're going to put 5, and for v, you're going to put 3. But know that this means 8 times w, and know that this means 2 times v, right? When you don't see an operation, it's going to mean to multiply. So you have to do 8 times 5, take away 2 times 3. So you do the multiplying first, right? Remember your PEMDAS rules. So this is 40, this is 6, and you take away, you get 34. So your answer is 34. Let's try one with an exponent. Example 3. So let's this time do 4y to the third power, take away, or plus 2, when y equals 3. All right, so first you're going to plug the values in and rewrite it. You really do want to rewrite it each time. So this means 4 times y cubed. So this is 4 times 3 to the third power plus 2. Rewrite this. That's important. Let's star that. Rewrite the problem. All right, now look, you have to do, follow your PEMDAS rules. You don't have any parentheses. So you got to do the exponent first. So this is 3 times 3 times 3. So 3 times 3 is 9. 9 times 3 is 27. So this is 4 times 27 plus 2. Now you have to do the multiplying. Remember, adding and subtracting is last. So here, let me just multiply on the side. 108. So you get 108 plus 2, which is 110. So your answer is 110. All right, let's try a, hard, a harder one. Now, this one has to do with a resting heartbeat. And there's a formula that they've figured out for a resting heartbeat. All right, so here's the formula that they want us to use. They want us to use 3, and then in parentheses, 220 take away A, and then divide that all by 5. Remember, fractions are division problem. A is going to represent your age. So they want us to solve for a 15-year-old. So what do we do? They're telling us A equals 15. So you're going to substitute here into the formula and rewrite. That's important. All right, so we're going to do 3, and then in parentheses, 220 take away 15. The age is 15. A equals 15 divided by 5. So remember, you got to do parentheses first. Remember your PEMDAS. All right, so parentheses first. So if I do 220 take away 15, you get 205. So now I have 3 times 205 divided by 5. So I'm going to multiply first. 3 times 205 is 615 divided by 5. 
So if you divide it out, well, you guys get to use a calculator. I like to do the math out. So this goes in once, this goes in twice, this goes in three times. So the answer is 123 heartbeats while they're, uh, while they're resting. All right, we're gonna do some examples out of the workbook. So this gives you an idea. All you're doing is substituting the values in and then make sure you use your PEMDAS rules. So let's go to page 350. All right, on page 350, I would like for you to do, let's do, so they're telling us C is eight and D is negative five. I would like for you to do D, E, and F. Pause the video. All right, here we go. We're gonna substitute the values in. So this is two times C is eight. Take away four times D is negative five. Okay, so you gotta do both multiplying problems first. Right, so this is 16. And now you can think of this as negative four times negative five, can't you? So that becomes positive 20. So when you add these, you get 36, right? A negative, a negative times a negative is a positive. All right, let's try the next one. D is negative five, take away eight to the second power. You got, there's no parentheses, exponents first. That means eight times eight, which is 64. So we have to do negative five, take away 64. Okay, so when we're doing that, they're both negative. You could do keep, change, opposite, right? Keep, change, and find the opposite of this, negative 64. So you can see you're adding the negatives together, so your answer is negative 69. You see that okay? I know I see that. All right, try the next one. Two times negative five squared plus five times negative five. Okay, exponent first. Five times five, right? Repeated multiplication, 25. So I'm rewriting the problem. All right, so now do both multiplying problems. Two times 25 is 50. Five times negative 25 is uh, negative 125. All right, so look, one is positive, one is negative. You subtract them, you have more negative, so it's negative 75. You also get to use a calculator, so that should help. All right, let's try a couple more problems on the other side. And we are going to look at this problem right here. G, solve G for me on the next page. All right, to find the area of a triangle, you're gonna do base times height divided by two, where B is base, H is height, and they want us to find it. Let's read what it says. Let's find it when the height equals six, and the base is eight. So all I did was take the words. So base times height divided by two. So this is eight times six divided by two. It's 48 divided by two. 48 divided by two is 24. And this would be inches. All right, let's go to the word problem on the next page. And let's look at it. Okay. So they asked us to use this expression um, and they wanna know does he have enough money, all right, for 11 weeks. W is gonna be weeks, so W equals 11. So you have to do 25 plus 10 times 11. Gotta multiply first, PEMDAS, right? So this is 110 and now you add 25 to that, you get $135, so does he have enough money? Yes if he has $150.